Now, in this video, we'll see uh, the discharge phenomena when the pressure is reduced to 1 mm of Hg and 0 0.5 mm of Hg and 0 0.05 mm of Hg. So what happens when uh, the pressure inside the discharge tube is reduced to 1 mm Hg? So when the pressure is reduced to 1 mm of Hg, then the phenomena that will observe in the discharge tube is as uh, here given in the video, okay? So here near the cathode, uh, there's a glow here uh, nearer to the cathode known as negative glow. And here is the dark space. Uh, and then this is the positive color, okay? So why do we see the glow over here? Uh, the electrons that are being emitted from the cathode, uh, they strike the neutral molecules and excite them to a higher state. Now, when this excited atom uh, fall back to uh, the neutral or the ground state, it releases energy in the form of light. Because of that, we can see a glow, and this glow is a blue and luminous glow. And this is known as negative glow. Now, here are the positive uh, ionic clouds. These positive ionic clouds will uh, reduce the energy of an electron, such that electron in this region cannot further excite the neutral atoms or the gas molecules to the higher excited state. So no higher excited state, no energy, no energy, no any release of uh, energy, no any release of energy, then no light produced. So uh, this is dark region. And then after coming out of this region, electrons are accelerated through this positive column up to the anode. But this is what happens at a pressure of one mm of Hg. So at a pressure of one mm of Hg, the positive column detaches itself from the cathode and move towards the anode. Uh, negative glow appears on the cathode known as negative glow or a uh, uh, blue luminous glow uh, appears on the cathode known as negative glow. Uh, dark space appears between positive column and negative glow color Faraday's dark space, okay? So here, uh, this dark space is known as Faraday's dark space and here a negative glow is there and this are positive column and the positive column, this positive column detaches from the cathode and move towards the anode, okay? So here the positive column is being detached from the cathode. So this is what we see at a pressure of one mm of Hg. And now at a pressure of, at a pressure of 0 0.5 mm of Hg, what we notice here is, uh, so, Okay, as you can see here, now that negative blue detaches, okay, from the cathode and it moves towards the anode. So this negative blue is moving towards the anode. Now here another glow will appear. This glow is known as cathode glow. And in between these space, in, in between this glow, that is negative blue and uh, cathode glow, there's a dark region. This dark region is known as Crookes dark space. Similarly, in between the negative glow and the positive glow, there's a dark region. This dark region is known as Faraday's dark space. So uh, if we compare uh, the discharge uh, phenomenon observed at a pressure of 0 0.5 mm of Hg and 1 mm of Hg, what you see is that uh, the glow that was here at 1 mm of Hg will be detached and will move upward. Uh, at uh, 0 0.5 mm of Hg, uh, the positive column gets certain and there will be two dark spaces. Uh, these two dark spaces are Crookes dark space and Faraday's dark space. So at a pressure of 0 0.5 mm Hg and potential 10 to 15 kilovolt, the positive column gets uh, certain or gets contracted the Faraday's dark space expands or gets lengthened. The negative glow leaves the cathode and another glow appears on the cathode called cathode glow. The negative glow moves towards the 
anode. The space between cathode glow and negative glow appears dark and is called Crookes dark space. So here, uh, the negative glow which was there uh, at uh, one mm of Hg, this negative glow detaches at 0.5 mm of Hg, uh, and then it moves towards the anode. Here will be another glow that is known as cathode glow. In between this negative glow and the cathode glow, there is a dark region known as Crookes dark space. Similarly, in between the negative glow and this positive column, there is a dark space known as Faraday's dark space. Now, what happens when the pressure is further reduced to 0 0.05 mm of Hg? Now, when the pressure is further reduced to 0 0.05 mm of Hg and the potential difference of 10,000 volt to 15,000 volt is applied between these two electrodes, then the positive columns are divided into alternate bright and dark bands known as striations. So, so here what happens the electrons that is accelerated by this 10,000 volt to 15,000 volt will meet the neutral gas atoms or molecules, excite them, uh, then as they return to the ground state will release energy. But here in the dark region, uh, the electrons do not have sufficient energy to excite the neutral gas atoms or molecules as a result of which it doesn't release energy in the form of light, so it remains dark. Again, it accelerates, it gains energy, and again, it strikes uh, the neutral and gas atom, uh, and then uh, the light will be uh, visible over here. So this continuous process of excitation, de-excitation, loss of energy, again, uh, gain of energy, uh, this, uh, this cycle for an electron continues until it reaches the anode. So by this, we studied uh, the different discharge phenomena when the pressure is reduced to one mm of Hg, 0.5 mm of Hg, and 0.05 mm of Hg. Okay, so after this one, uh, Mm-hmm.